Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Instant Infusion Brewer Plus 12 Cup Coffee Maker. So this looks like a really nice coffee maker. It's got a glass carafe with 12 cups. We've got a warming plate that'll keep our coffee warm. We've got a nice touchscreen display up top. We've got a filter basket. It takes a number four cone filter. It comes with this reusable filter. But you can put a paper filter in here. You never put both in at the same time, but you can put a paper or a reusable. There's the filter basket. It's got the plunger at the bottom. There's the filter. There's the brew head. Now this does have a micro switch built in, so the display will say lid whenever the lid is up. Around back, we got a nice removable water reservoir with a nice handle and a water filter. Okay, so when you first get this water filter, here's what it looks like. You're going to soak it for 10 minutes and then run it under water for a few seconds. Then we're going to put it into this holder. Now you're going to take the holder off. It just pops off like this. The filter goes in here like this and then snap it on. And then this goes right on that little holder right there. Now the water will have to pass. That's a carbon water filter. The water will pass through that before it goes into the coffee. That'll help remove a chlorine taste from your, if you've got really strong chlorine taste. Okay, so I got the water reservoir filled up. Whatever amount of water you put back here, that's what it's going to brew. There's a start button. That's only the, just to start the brew. That You can't select like four cups, five cups. Whatever amount of water you put in, that's what it brews. Okay, so let's make a pot of coffee. It takes just standard drip coffee maker. A coffee ground at a medium grind. It does come with a scoop, but the scoop is a little bit bigger than one tablespoon. And you can see the chart shows like the scoop that comes with it or tablespoons. They're showing a little bit more, like for eight cups, they're showing 12 tablespoons. I typically do eight tablespoons for 12, for eight cups. So I'm gonna do the full 12 cups. We're gonna put, I put 12 tablespoons in. I could put up to 18 in, but I'm only gonna do 12. That's how I like the taste of it. Okay, so I got all my coffee in there. You're gonna close the lid. Make sure you snap it closed so the display comes on. Okay, so let's talk about the display a little bit. We've got a bold brew. So if I press this button, there's a little circle that's gonna come on. That's gonna be a bold brew. I'm gonna do a normal brew. There's a one to four cup button. Now again, even with this button pressed, if I've got 12 cups of water back there, it's gonna brew the full 12 cups. But if you're doing a small batch, you're supposed to press that button. It brews it just a little bit differently. This is the warming plate. We got three levels to keep the warming plate on. We got low, medium, and high. High is with all three, medium, and then low. Now, a nice thing about this coffee maker is I can turn that warming plate on. If this coffee maker turns off, like after two hours, it'll turn the warming plate off. I can come up here and just turn the warming plate on. That's kind of a nice feature. And I can adjust how long the default is for that warming plate. From zero to four hours, it'll stay on after the coffee maker's done brewing coffee. We've got delay brew. Sorry. We got delay brew here. We can set it. If you want to brew a pot of coffee in the morning, you can set the time that you want it to come on. But when you're ready to brew it, this is your brew button, this green button. You're just going to press it and then it's going to beep at you. We can turn those beeps off in the settings, but right now we've got the beeps. There's an X button. If I want to cancel the brew, I hit that. And then there shows it's brewing. Now this coffee maker has what they call pre-infusion technology. It's going to brew a little bit of hot water into the coffee grounds and it's going to pause. So we can see it has started to brew a little bit, but it is gonna pause. Okay, so now it's pausing. It doesn't pause for a really long time. And if we want, we can take a sneak peek. So there's how the pause looks. Now, anytime you lift that lid, it does cancel the brew and you gotta come back here and hit the brew button again. So it is a relatively quiet coffee maker as it's brewing. Be careful, this does get really hot here on the top. Okay, so the coffee coming out the bottom is really hot, 200 degrees. Now this does have pause brewing. I can grab a, a quick cup of coffee. There's a plunger that's gonna come down and stop it. Quick, pour me a quick cup of coffee and then put it back. Now I'm not gonna do a bold brew, but if you do a bold brew, the brew takes about two to three minutes longer. It's just a slower brew to kind of extract more flavor. Okay, so this is a really fast coffee maker. We're about the seven and a half minute mark. It's getting a little louder towards the end, but I can tell the water's coming to an end. There's not much left. 
Now, when it's done brewing, it, again, it's almost done brewing, it's gonna switch and keep the warming plate on. The default is two hours. You can set that from zero to four hours. After that default time, which is two hours on mine, it will turn the coffee maker completely off. Okay, so we're right at the 12 cup mark, eight and a half minutes. Okay, so it took about another minute. It, it does kind of beep at you to signal at you that it's done brewing and it's switching to keeping the carafe warm now. A little hard to see, but the red X did go away. The play button went away. The circle now is around there. Okay, this is a really nice craft. It's got a nice big opening, so be careful. Let's see how it pours. Yeah, it pours really fast. That coffee is extremely hot. All right, let's see how hot a cup of coffee we get. 174. That's a really hot cup of coffee. Now, I drink my coffee with a little bit of cream and sugar in it. I've been drinking out of this coffee maker for about a week, and it tastes really good. Okay, so let's go up here and see how it did. Yeah, it did a really good job with the coffee grounds. Cleanup is very simple. You're going to grab this little handle. You can take this over there, get rid of the coffee grounds, both the filter and the brew basket are dishwasher safe along with the carafe. So another nice feature about this, which I explained earlier is, is this warming plate. I got three modes and you'll see the three little lines. I can turn it off. That turns the coffee maker completely off. But so say it times out, you still have some coffee in here, but you want to warm that up. You can come up here and press that on without doing a brew. That's a really, really nice feature. Now with the warming plate on high, it does get really hot, 323 degrees. That's really hot for the warming plate. Now you will get just a little bit of sediment in your coffee. It's not coffee grounds, just a little bit of sediment will sink to the bottom. If you wanna prevent that, you do need to use a paper filter. Again, you can never use both at the same time, the permanent filter or a paper filter. This coffee maker is a really good price, $67. I will put a link to it in the show description notes underneath the video. If you see the link or the word see more, click on it. It'll take you to Amazon where you can purchase this. The product won't cost you anymore, but I do get a percentage of the sale. I bought this coffee maker with my own money. So let's go over size and wattage. The wattage on this is 1,400 watts. Front to back, 12 inches. Left to right, about six and a half. Now it is a pretty tall coffee maker with the lid all the way open. It's about 22 inches, so it will not fit under a kitchen cabinet. I really do like this water reservoir. It's got a nice big handle. I can grab it. I don't feel like I'm gonna drop the water reservoir. Now, I have not seen these water filters before, so I don't know if instance, they are probably gonna have to start stocking those, but I've not seen that type of water filter. From looking at it, I can tell the water does have to travel through the filter in order for it to come out the bottom. Now that water filter should be changed about every two months. And again, it's just gonna help if you have a really high chlorine taste in your water. It's a two prong cord and it's 34 inches long. Now I only unplugged that for just a couple seconds. You do lose your time. So in order to set the time, we're gonna press the hour bit button and the minute button. We do have an AM and a PM light. Now when you've got the time set, press the play button, that memorizes it. Okay, so if you wanna turn the beeps off, we're gonna press the, the, the bold and the small batch button and hold them down sound off. Now if we want to turn the sound back on, we're going to reverse those steps. Press this, hold it, sound on. I don't think the beeps are, are overly annoying and they're not super loud and my, it didn't bother my dog at all. Now we can change the default for the warming plate. You're going to press and hold this. We can change how long the default is for that to stay on. The default is two hours. If I want to go three hours, it goes in half hour minutes. Or I can go all the way up to four or zero. If I want it to shut off after it's done brewing, go to zero. And then hit the play button. That's what memorizes it. Okay, so we can also program this to come on in the morning. This is the program button. You're gonna press it once. Now it changes. This is the time that you want it to come on in the morning. Say I want it to come on at six. It goes in five minute increments. 6.25, hit the play button. Or if I just let it time out, it'll also set it. But hit the play button. There's a ring around that light now. Now this coffee maker will start in the morning. Make sure you got your coffee and your water and your craft is empty and you're ready to go. If you want to cancel, say you want to sleep in, press that button. 
and it cancels it. Now the next day when you're ready to do, you don't have to set the time every time. Just come up here, press that button. Yep, that's the time I want it to start. And I want a bold brew, press the play. The bold brew is on and that is on. That means it will start in the morning. Okay, so this does has, have a reminder to let you know when it's time to descale. So it says after 90 brews, the X button's gonna come on and the H and the M are gonna flash. So when you see the X on red and these two flashing, that means it's been 90 cycles and it's time to descale it. Now this is just a reminder. So say if you press the X button, it will um, cancel that and it'll reset the 90 cycles. Now, when you want to descale it, I'm going to do a separate video on that. There is a descale mode to put it in. You're going to hold the H and the M button and you're going to run descaler through it. You know, I am very pleased with the overall appearance. Um, it's a craft that I've never really seen before. It pours really nice. It's got a nice big opening, hinged lid, nice handle. I like their little logo they've got on everything. It's got a nice small footprint. The touch screen's been working very well. I do wish the X and the play button might be just a little bit brighter. But they've really packed some really nice features into this coffee maker. As far as I know, this is Instant's first uh, craft coffee maker. Now they do have a, one that does Nespresso pods and K-Cups, which I've reviewed, and it's a very nice coffee maker, but this is a full 12 cup craft coffee maker. I was very surprised how hot the coffee coming out the bottom was. It, it maintained that temperature. It took a little bit for it to get up to 200 degrees, but it did maintain that pretty good. And that pre-infusion, that's, um, that's a technology that like when it starts, it brews for a little bit and then stops. Some really expensive coffee makers have that. But overall, I was impressed how fast it is. I mean, you know, pretty much eight minutes for 12 cups of coffee. That's really fast. It's not super loud, very easy to use. And it just makes a really nice hot cup of coffee. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. That helps out my YouTube channel. I appreciate everybody's support. Again, if you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.